guys, welcome to my channel, Shop Let's Go. My name is Joanne. We are in my dining room. I have a couple of videos that are gonna be coming out, so you may see a lot of my dining room, at least the corner of my dining room. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into it. I have a collective haul. Um, I have some Target, I have some Whole Food, I have a Burlington item. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on in. So for thing, first things first, I just got done recording a video of a Whole Foods item and I just want to show this to you. Um, I have a reveal video so I'll add this into um, you know like whatever you can click. I'm starting to figure those things out guys so I'm gonna make sure that you're able to click that video so you can see what all is going on in here. Pretty much this is all about relaxing, restoring, and having self-care. There are some awesome things in there. I smell amazing, lots of lavender, lots of stress-free, all the things. So just um, keep an eye out for that video. And that's being sold at Whole Foods Market, not sponsored, for $15. It's a $40 value. So I thought that was stinking amazing. I'm going to put this down here in my chair. My Burlington um, item was this mug. Again, I have a walkthrough video that I show you all the Christmas at Burlington, and this was a mug that I just cannot pass up. I love that it's got the uh, animal print there, and it says, too glam to give a damn because you know, us ladies, we have to treat ourselves like the queens that we are and have some stinking cute items, right? So I have that. And then the other day, as well, I did a Target Dollar Spot walkthrough, and I picked up just a few items, um, but I'm going to share that with you. Sorry I'm shaking the table, guys. Um, I'm thinking of having, I don't know, but I just picked up a few items there. Don't disregard what I was just going to say, because I have no idea. I never know what I am going to say. Can you guys see my... <laughs> so, so silly so there's that let me okay so I couldn't help but pick up this item at the Target dollar spot doesn't this look like a KFC Santa I just get KFC vibes I had to I don't know why not that I'm gonna like showcase this off with like a big bucket of chicken but it is KFC Santa vibes, okay? KFC, come after me because uh, the Colonel has competition. <laughs> the, Colonel, <laughs> the Colonel has competition for real. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start cracking up. So, <laughs> so I got that thing. Oh, and like with it, it's like you can do it for like a tear tray. It's totally like what I love the little presents. Can you see they're like little square? And then you've got Be Jolly and then your little bell here. So this can totally be um, staged for a tear tray. Then I got this. You guys, yes. Can you see the, the ring light? I'm trying not to. So you've got Deck the Halls. Mary and Bright and fa la 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 la. So these are three different signs in this packet. This was five dollars. Um, KFC Santa was five dollars. Did I tell you that that item from Whole Foods that was fifteen dollars, forty dollar value? You get nine items in it for fifteen dollars. Sorry guys, I totally had to take a drink. Um, so. Then I got the white deer. I just, I just love them. They're so pretty. I've been trying to find the deer at Dollar Tree and I can't find them. I can't find them. So I don't know like what state or what town, maybe even here in my state of Virginia. I don't know who's got all the deer, but you need to start shipping over here to Rockingham County. Then I got this another little small tear tray uh component here there is snow place like home i love that but what i'm really digging is this little sleigh with the snowballs and this mitten like i just can't they are so stinking cute loving this so this is a cute little um tear tray decor too and then da -da -da -da, not a tear tray, but it is a two-pack of riser tables. 
that I'm definitely going to use as my center um, display for my tablescape for Christmas and winter time. So I got that. So those are my K up. <laughs> I was going to say those are my KFC items. I can't. I can't just. Can we just look at KFC? I'm telling you, you guys. If you don't. If you can't see it, then I don't know. Like, maybe I've had too much coffee. <laughs> Chris is laughing. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. I must have had too much caffeine, guys, because I just, I can't. All right, so those were, those were um, my other items there. So now we're going to get into the good stuff. I mean, that stuff was good, too, but you know what I'm here for. You know what you're here for. You are here for Dollar Tree. So I just don't even know where to begin. I don't know if I should get like some of the things that may be boring or some of the things that are just mind blowing. I don't know. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. So there's a lot of ceramic guys, like a lot of ceramic stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to be easy with this bag because one I don't want to break what's in it and then two I don't want to excuse me totally had to burp um, I didn't want to like jiggle anything around too much so okay I had to go get me a pair of scissors to open these bags but let's just get this bag done I literally lost it when I seen these signs so there are some Christmas signs they are from Christmas house but how adorable are these joy to the world you have your truck I love that it's like this honestly looks like a vintage Jeep to me like a vintage type station wagon a Jeep I love the uh, checkered um, black and white checkered there Buffalo check. I don't know what you guys call it, but and I love the wood trim and I love like the faux uh, wood boards in the background. This is absolutely amazing and then it's got your little, you know, but you don't even have to hang this. In fact, you probably, if you wanted to like have this as like a standing item on itself, just get like painter stick or like, you know, some kind of solid and then a base and this could just be you know something that you have on your um, shelves or near your TV like totally loving that stinking adorable so you have that one and then you have kind of similar in the same style it's got that very rustic vintage thing going on have yourself a merry little Christmas how beautiful are the trees and I love how this is just plain it's so simple so rustic but so like Christmassy and like holiday spirit like so yeah guys you have these I just gonna do that or should I do this you guys know what I'm trying to do I'm trying to trying to um make sure I have something that I can do uh, thumbnail with. So there's that. Oh, oh, I forgot I got this third one. Look at this. You've got your little blue truck with your um, snow Christmas trees, your snow pine trees there full of snow. I love it. Okay, so we're definitely doing this. We are redoing this. We are redoing this. Can you guys see how stinking cute and I love it I love just you know the simplicity of it they are adorable I love these love them so much so I was really tickled pink to find those like I said Dollar Tree a dollar twenty-five and then I found this um, I found the Christmas trees I love these ceramic trees, guys. So I got all the different styles. I got 
that one, that one, and then this one. I just love the different textures, you know, like the different ways that they all look. So I got all three, and then I also got this in white. And I'll just show this to you guys. I got them in white. If I don't have them fall, look how beautiful they are. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Like they're those little candle holders. You can do them both ways. You can do them upside down like this and they hold like the little voltives. And then you can do it like this and they can hold the pillars. I feel like if you do it like this though, it's very unsteady. But I love this. Just love them. I love how they're clear. They kind of remind me of like salt and pepper shakers. And then they kind of remind me of like the old antique like power breaker things. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like for electricity, like on power lines. Yeah, so that's just like small. That's what that reminds me of. I'm just going to show you. And I'm just going by the bag. So it's kind of like random here or there. But in this bag, I found course it's gonna be fuzzy let's see so the hot pepper jelly I got this because I'm gonna make like a little food gift basket to give to someone for Christmas and I thought that this hot pepper jelly would be perfect so it's not big where it would go to waste and it's just enough to kind of like give you an idea if you might like it do you get what I'm saying so you're not losing money but this is mrs. Miller's homemade hot pepper jelly and you can see the jellies like all the little peppers the jellies or the peppers in there so I love hot pepper jelly um, it's one of my favorites with like cream cheese so yeah idea guys get those uh, Breton's cracker um, the little crackers from Dollar Tree get that and like a thing of their cream cheese boom there you go there's like a really super cute single like gift item you get what I'm saying so then I decided um, to get me some things because I you know just wanted to get myself some things I uh, got this my sister got me turned on to this when we went to Brooklyn New York for that trip to go to that metal show that we never got to go see so anyway she does a facial every night and <laughs> She had one of these and I tried it and I love it. It is um, a bubble face mask. It's just a single one. The, it's got hyaluronic acid in it and it bubbles up. So like, you guys know like when you're in a bubble bath, like I don't know if you guys still do this, but I still do it even at 43. But like when the bubbles are all like, just all fluffy and everything, I love to put them on my face. Like, it's just, I like hearing them pop. Um, and then I just like like the fizzy of it. Do you get what I'm saying? So anyway, if you like that kind of stuff, this mask is for you. Totally loving it. And while I was there, I came across some really stinking cute packaging on masks. Okay, now whether they're good or not, I don't know. I haven't tried them. I will try them. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe just giving them away because they're so cute. But they're by Bio Miracle single sheet face mask and look at the packaging on these you got your peppermint face mask ice cream face mask cupcake and chocolate covered strawberries can I a chocolate face mask look how yummy that is so I'm gonna show this to you I'm gonna show you the packaging and I'm gonna try to get it to where maybe I can do like, um, bear with me guys. Does that work? Of course it doesn't work because I'm chewing it with my jacked up hand. Look at these face masks. How stinking cute are they? Like I said, they are by Bio Miracle. The ice cream face mask actually says creamy milk and honey, the peppermint cool and milk and Sika. Um, cupcake face mask is hyaluronic acid and vanilla and then the chocolate face max, mask um, is exfoliating and brightening chocolate and strawberry. So yeah guys. This got moved. 
I swear I'm like the clumsiest. You guys see my corner? I love it. Um, so anyway, in this bag, again, like I said, I was going to do like a food basket theme, uh, Christmas gift basket, and I got these two um, hot sauces here. So this is Aztec's Revenge Cayenne Maza. Okay, so why? How many? Revenges is there. So it says, I guess Aztec's Revenge is the brand. Yes, because it says TM. And then this is Cayenne Montezuma's Revenge. The Cayenne. So there's that. And then you have the Jalapeno Flaming Rage. Um, so I got those items. My dogs are losing it. They are losing it. Alright. To go with that jelly is bacon spread. So I have bacon spread, pepper jelly, and hot sauce that I'm going to put in to that food um, gift thing. Alright. Hear me out, guys. Okay, so these are hair beads. But... You can use them for anything else, especially if you're into like macrame and you do like the, the plant hangers and stuff like that. This says hair beads, but look at the colors in this one. Like how stinking adorable is it? And look at the perfect size on them. Like, sorry, not sorry, but I'm not putting these in my hair. Not that that's bad, but I totally had an ulterior plan for these, like an alternative, an alternative plan. So you got your beads. The colored beads that are just absolutely fabulous. And then I got, oh, I found these beads too. Look how stunning the designs are on these beads. Do you see? Absolutely beautiful. Totally boho. Um, yeah. Even like, you know, yeah. I just, so. Let's display these beads. Love that. You know that's going to probably be a thumbnail. <laughs> you guys can always tell, right? When I'm getting ready to like, I'm setting up a thumbnail. Okay, if you hear some carrying on now, it's because Bo and Lily are in the house. They were outside. I knew it was too good to be true. They were quiet. I went to check and they saw me and they're like, yeah, I need to come in the house. Um, this next bit that I've got going on here actually is a lot of glassware. So I just want to show you, I'm losing it when I'm showing you this stuff, okay? Especially these next two items. But I have them wrapped because like I said, it's a lot of glassware. But please tell me. I meow you and look at the cats. Have you seen this at the Dollar Tree? This is Greenbrier. This is Dollar Tree microwave safe, dishwasher safe, imported by Greenbrier International. International. Why can't I talk? I love that. This does not scream Dollar Tree to me. Like, this is a nice size. It's got a good feel to it. But, so there's the cats. But guess what? How stinking cute. I love dogs. You've got the nose and the little whiskers and the paw prints. Like, absolutely. How stinking adorable is this for pet lovers? I have never seen this anywhere at any other Dollar Tree. And I was just like, holy cow. Like, I was so tickled pink. Greenbrier. I cannot believe it. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I found this. So you guys remember that, like, horrific uh, car haul that I did, like, last week or so? It was terrible, guys. It was so terrible. My camera kept falling. I thought I was going to have to, like, get out and, like, get on with this guy who was yelling at his mom or some older lady. Yeah, like, it was crazy. But look at this. I also hauled a lot of, like, astrological stuff in that um, video. So this is going to go with that. 
I'm gonna kind of keep that all grouped together. Have I shared this with you guys already? I don't know, but these are stinking cute. So I'm just gonna be really fast with it. I love like the beaded handle and I love how it's just plain. You can do whatever with. So there's one in a circle that's plain. Then you have like this octagon with a black background. You have this rectangle, black background, and then you have a square that's plain. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys and show you that that is around now at the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them everywhere, but I found those. And then I got some more beads, guys, because these are just always so fabulous to have on hand. I know I don't show you a lot of DIY. I'm hoping that maybe that will change in 2023, but this is, I got two separate, separate ones here, so I grab those beads. I love that they're plain. I can paint them whatever color I need them for, for whatever object, project. Did I say object for project? So then um, the other day, if you watched my last Dollar Tree walkthrough, I went down to the fabulous Timberville, Virginia store while I was home and I had to get I'll be a gnome for Christmas but my favorite side is Gnome Sweet Gnome. Loving that, I had to grab it. Had to, had to. And then I grabbed the other one. Tis the season, totally loving it. And then on the back side, Love Peace Joy. Those are my two favorite. Those are like my two favorite for the whole thing um, this season. So I grabbed this uh, picture frame like the hanging picture frame you can get a couple more of these and hang as many of this as you want you can even get like the little string lights the battery operated string lights make this totally glam house thinking cute so they have this in the black and they have it in the white I like either one either one is just fabulous to me so I got that guys I do want to apologize for looking like a hot mess. I'm in the middle of waiting for my laundry to dry. I'm going to take a shower before I head to Richmond. So I'm just like fresh and clean then. So, and you know, unfortunately you guys get the crusty me, but that's okay. Sometimes that just happens. Um, I went ahead and got a table runner because I am going to do a tablescape. This is so pretty. This was at the Dollar Tree. Um, they have the red and the green, but I prefer the white because I was thinking that like my Christmas decor could also kind of like be into winter so I, I can like prolong it a little bit. So that's kind of like what I have in mind with my stuff. So Mr. makes skateboards and does like a lot of woodwork and he stains things with like dyes and paint. He also does um, um, screen printing. He makes t-shirts like homemade t-shirts with screen prints. So that's for his workshop. I watched, um, who did I watch the other day? I watched another YouTuber. I want to say it was Crafty Girl, but she kind of opened my eyes up to um, some of these activity books. And I thought, you know what? My kids are grown. All my kids are like 23 and older. And for the most part, they get money during the holiday. I don't get like gifts anymore. I just give them money. They go do whatever the heck they want with it. But I do give them like little baskets of like things, mostly Dollar Tree stuff. But last year I got the kids, um, what was that puzzle thing that your brother had? It was like a word search thing. They stuck it on the wall and like when people came over, they just kind of, not like a word search. It was like an actual crossword puzzle and he loved it. It was like three foot by three foot. It was a great thing. My, my oldest son, Caleb, he liked it. So I thought, gosh, these are just like fun little activities. I know they're like not really that big of a book, but you know what? To give yourself some entertainment aside from like just vegging out on TV and doing other things. So you have this one and this one, and then you have these two here. So these are great for like older children or for yourself. I mean, for anyone really, but like, you know, older children, um, you can put these in like get well baskets for people that are like in the hospital to get them something to do. Cause 
you know, honestly, when you're admitted to the hospital, there is nothing to do except anticipate like a visit from your doctor, your physical therapist, depending on what your condition is and your family, if your family feels comfortable coming, you know, a lot of families are not seeing family in the hospital because they don't want to like get germs, you know, that kind of thing. And everyone's still afraid of the, um, you know, the Rona. So I don't know. Um, people in the hospital, especially like during the holidays are bored out of their minds and they would totally appreciate something like that. And then you have these winter activity books. Um, these were with all the Christmas stuff, with all the kids' kitty, all the kitty Christmas books and stuff like that. But I feel like these are geared more towards older children and adults. So you have those. These are coloring books. Um, and then they had their uh, word searches that were just kind of like Christmas inspired. So I thought that was really, really cute. My last item here is I did a shorts video and I actually took it down because I was like, oh, you know, I wanted to do something a little bit more extravagant. It wasn't as like glamorous as it was, as it was than what I thought it is. So I'm gonna do another post, but I wanted to share with you the Dollar Tree um, Lighting Angels. So she is blowing a horn. I just love her. She is stinking cute. So you have the horn. You have, she's praying. And you see her there. They change colors, guys. And I'll show them to you. And then you have one that I just figure she's singing out of a hymn book. How darling are these? And then you have your Christmas tree. Which the Christmas tree, I wish, like, went slowly, like, changed colors slowly, like the angels. But, like, this Christmas tree is having its own party, guys. Okay? <laughs> like, this Christmas tree is having a party. So, yeah. I'll show you these angels. How darling are they? These are not new. I think Dollar Tree has these out. But, like, you know... These are just so fabulous. These would be great to give someone that's in the hospital during the holidays to uh, the people in the nursing homes. Like, how stinking cute are they? They are lovely. I mean, for $1.25, like, how stinking adorable is it? I will tell you this, though, that when you see them in the stores, definitely, like, pick through and see which ones have really good wings because I was finding a lot of wings. Like, people are just so rough with stuff, and I'm sure, like, just with like shipping alone, things like that happen. But just make sure that you have like ones that have intact wings. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you the disco tree one more time because how stinking adorable is this? I mean, you guys, Dollar Tree never disappoints. I love it, I love it, I love it. So anyway, that is it. Oh. Yeah, no, that's it for my haul. So thank you guys for being here and watching my channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you are new, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment and hit subscribe. Get those notifications. That helps me out tremendously. Again, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.